the Tuscaloosa Chevrolet Sports Update with WVUA's Gary Harris. Good evening, everybody. Don't forget, Tider Insider TV on the way tonight right after the news at 630. Well, the Alabama men's basketball team is one win away from a trip to New York City for the NIT semifinals, but getting that win tonight at home in the quarterfinals is not going to be easy. Bama must defeat a talented, deep, and versatile Maryland squad. They've got, you know, a very deep roster and a very versatile roster. You know, and those, those are things that we've talked to our guys about. They've got the ability, um, you know, to go, you know, four or five guards or uh, traditional with two, two traditional bigs. They've got good size and physicality. They've played a lot of different uh, ways over the course of the year, um, not just uh, in their last game. So that's something certainly we have to be prepared for. I mean, they're, they're a good team. Like, I mean, the way they play, I mean, if they come out and just play up to their, to their game, like a team against Duke or something like that, I mean, they can't win of anything. That's any team, though. 6.30, the tip tonight on ESPN. Of course, join us at 10 for all the highlights and the post-game reaction. We'll see if the tie can make it to the Big Apple. If you make it there, you make it anywhere, right? Well, the Alabama softball team has hit the road for spring break. Bama will play a midweek game tomorrow at the University of Houston and then a three-game SEC series at new conference member Texas A&M on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in College Station. UA head coach Anthony Grant says it's going to be a grueling stretch for the Tide against quality opposition. Uh, I mean, I watched a little bit of their games with t uh, Tennessee this weekend, and, you know, they're very good. They swing the bat. They've got big kids with uh, lots and lots of power. Uh, it's a definite home field advantage, just like playing at Alabama. So it's going to be, a, uh, I think it'll be a great crowd. Uh, Houston, though, is a very good team. Uh, we play Wednesday night. They're coached by a young lady that used to pitch for me and was a teammate of Allison's in college. And she's probably, to this day, the, probably the most competitive kid I've ever coached. Uh, and they'll be ready for us because uh, I think it's the second time we've been to Houston. But uh, Molly Fickner and Andrew Hawkins know a bunch of their kids on those teams. And, you know, those, the kids from Texas are very good athletes. So, you know, those four games are going to be tough. And the red-hot Alabama baseball team will warm up for its big three-game SEC series on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at Auburn by facing another in-state foe tonight over at Regions Park in Hoover. Alabama and UAB, 6.30 first pitch. Our Todd Hoyer is there. We'll have the story for you tonight at 10. Well, the Alabama football team has a new offensive line coach, Mario Cristobal. For some of the veteran players on that offensive line, Cristobal will be their third O-line coach in the last four years. But Nick Saban says... That's not a problem. You know, Mario has done a really good job. I think the players like him. Uh, he's done a good job teaching them. He's got good energy and enthusiasm. He brings some new ideas uh, that's always welcomed uh, when you have new coaches, you know, join the staff. So uh, everything about this so far from a transition standpoint has been positive. Um, but, you know, that's a work in progress too, you know I mean? Consistency and performance over the long haul is what's going to be important, you know, to helping us develop. Well, Manti Teo ran a little better on his home field than he did at the NFL Combine, lowering his 40-yard dash time by more than a second during Notre Dame's Pro Day. The Heisman Trophy runner-up posted a best time of 4.71 on Tuesday, bettering the disappointing mark of 4.82 that he put up at the Combine in Indianapolis last month. Teo says he was pleased by his performance, and he attributed the faster time to being on a practice field where he's comfortable, surrounded by people that he knows. Teo says he's met with NFL teams, saying they've asked about his highly publicized online romance that turned out to be a hoax. Well, last night in Orlando, the Miami Heat won their 27th straight NBA game when they beat the Magic 108-94 to with Dwayne Wade sitting out his second game in a row with pain in his left knee. LeBron James broke a 68 all-time in the third quarter with a slam dunk, and the Heat never looked back. King James finished with 24 points, 11 assists, and 9 rebounds, just one short of a triple-double. And the Heat, only six wins away now from tying the 71-72 Lakers for the greatest streak in NBA history at 33 games. After last night's win, LeBron spoke about the team's historic run. Well, our historic run, um, you know, is about winning championships. That's what we want to be known for, uh, but it's a process. And whatever comes in between that, um, you know, we can be excited about it. Um, that we didn't have a goal in mind or saying let's go on a long consecutive win streak. But our goal of mine is to win each and every game we go out on the floor. It doesn't happen like that every night. We know that, but, you know, that's the way we approach the game.